just, I mean, I love it so much. Like, I was worried that I would be, um, it would be really difficult. And I mean, it's been difficult, but it's so worth it. Okay. Another day at the Norps. Uh, it's. Uh. I was just gonna wondering if I should mention I got a new camera. Can you guys tell? It's I got the iPhone 11. We've been vlogging solely with our phones since summer. Yeah, pretty much. And find it is so much easier. Um, I don't see a big difference in the quality. I mean, we've had so many different cameras over the last few years. But mostly, it's just easy for us to share our life because we always have our phones with us. They are pretty inconspicuous and we're in, you know, in public spaces. So, anyways, happy holidays. Um, you can see who dressed festive today. Oh. Who wins the festive outfit category. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to our the Christmas parade. Yeah. We per we participated in a Christmas parade, at least Mike and I and Esther and Daniel did a couple weeks ago, but today we just get to watch. We're gonna go and watch it with my brother and Allison and their kids, and it should be pretty fun. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna make us feel Christmassy. Christmas Might see parade. Santa, huh? Yeah. I'm so happy for the cousins and over. Yeah, you guys love having your cousins over, so been fun. I wish with them. they can live here forever. I hope so too. You tell them, okay? Okay. While we wait, we just set up our chairs. I probably should have filmed that around the corner from the house, but we're in the house where Weston and Allison are living right now with their amazing kitty. Turn around. He's the best. He's hey, so Ringo. Cute. You're kind of a dumb kitty, huh? You're kind of dumb. Would you so sweet? So we're just gonna wait here. We've got our, our space set up, but it's gonna probably be a little while until the parade starts. Hey. Are you excited for the Christmas parade? Yeah? Uh, me too. <laughs> I know, you're a happy guy. <laughs> Weston's gonna show us his guitar. Beautiful. It's actually electric, so you can plug in. And it's got a what they call a floating pickup, so it's not touching the guitar, so oh. it's still loud acoustically because it resonates full. Nice. Got it about a year ago, and they love to come and turn the knobs for me. I try to them. <laughs> I hope you, Dad. Yeah, I okay, the parade has begun. Are you excited, dude? Yay, candy! candy. I don't need to right there. Right to me. Yeah. 
Look at that, they can steer from the back. See that? Into it. Thanks, Olaf. All right. Finally, time for Santa. Jude. There he is. That's it, it's over. Super exciting. All I kept thinking is how bad I want to have a float. Mommy, mommy, mommy. That's some excitement. Mommy. Jude, was it awesome? Yeah. Did you like it? I got a lot. You got a lot of good stuff, huh? We got to pack it up. Is it all going to fit in your pocket? Okay, Eve, you loading your stuff up in your pockets? I'm loading everything up in my pocket. That's quiet. <laughs> Okay, you got it? Okay. Let's go. Okay, we are all done with the town parade. I definitely think the parade we are in was a little bit more legit. Obviously. And so now all I can think about is like how I want to have a float next year because like there weren't really any exciting ones. So it'd be pretty easy to dazzle people with a slightly exciting float. You're all about the razzle-dazzle. I know. <laughs> like, anyways. Um, so now we're going to head home. I think Wes and Alice are going to come over for a while. We've got a Christmas party to go to tonight, like a couple's Christmas party where we're supposed to bring, like, a couple small gifts that we need to go get. But otherwise, I think the cousins are just excited to play and hang out. Hey, so now it's the, it's two days later. We had We went to the... Um, parade and that was super fun with the kids and then um, that night Mike and I went to a Christmas party with some friends and the kids went back to the Christmas thing in town and then it was Sunday and anyways so here we are it's Monday. Hey Jude did you go to the dentist this morning because he had a cavity? Mm -hmm. huh? It's all taken care of? Awesome. Peter got one too. Yeah, Peter had to something filled too. So what you doing, Dan? Mike bread. Yeah, he's trying to do my bread recipe. Hmm. Looks interesting. Okay. Well, if that's all you got left, just throw it in there. Yeah, but you might be like pouring one out. It's okay. Away. And then Peter and Asher were trying to make slime, but it they got. It. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. It failed. Yeah. We need to get some different ingredients. We don't, we don't want the, uh, we want the powder version doesn't work. You want liquid starch instead of borax powder? Yeah. Okay. I want to play something cool. Uh, your cousins are coming over after lunch. What time? And Esther and Pearl are ordering a Christmas present for Dad. And Eve is doing some... Let's see if doing, Eve is doing what she's supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah, she's on Starfall. The baby forgot something. You're right. So, yeah, now I have been reading this morning. Um, we've been trying to get things together for Elijah in next a week and a couple days he's going to Japan, which is crazy. And uh, he needs a, a bag sent to him. We 
we got to find that when he realized that he didn't have enough bags. So we're going to have to ship him his backpack that he used in Iceland, you know, his Cotopaxi. And we also have to pull together his Christmas present. I should probably force myself to do that. I just keep putting it off because me and mail post offices are like oil and water. It's okay. You just worry about the present. I'll take it to the post office. Okay. It's I not so hard for you to do that. Yeah. I can handle it. Um, it's just also hard because he, it's hard to buy for him because he, he's got to be able to fit it into his suitcases, which are already pretty packed, obviously. Take it with him for two years. And, um, and then also like, I want it to be usable and I also want it to be magical. And so, um, yeah, that's like, I can't think of anything. I did get him some ties, uh, because Elijah does love to wear fun clothes. And so I got him some ties. I'll show you. I got, um, these four. They're pretty cute. And he'll like those. And then I did get him a, um, it's really cold. He's going to, you know, Northern Japan. It's very cold there. So I got him a comfy at Costco. Um, I don't know when he'll wear it. I guess when he's hanging around his apartment. But, um, thought, you know, it's like having a blanket and it's. Do you have it? Yeah, I have one too. Oh, you gave me one for Elijah? Yeah, I'm getting one for Elijah. So Daniel just asked me how you make pesto bread. Clean off this counter a little bit. I need a dough scraper. Is that a middle one? No, I need a dough scraper for, you put, get me one for Christmas or something, huh? <laughs> okay. Yep, there you go. And so roll that out with the rolling pin. Just go, leave it about that length. Just roll it out that way a little bit. Mm -hmm. And come back toward yourself, yep. Okay, and then he's gonna spread some pre-made pesto from Costco. They're actually homemade. Yeah, well, I did used to make my own pesto when I had a garden. Just, just a, in the package, you know? Yeah, more than that. Just dump it all on there and then you can spread it all out. In there. And spread it out on the layer. You can use this as pizza dough. You can? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. The There's a lot of pesto in there you don't want to waste. Where'd that spoon go? Just kind of yeah, sure. dump shame. it on there. Kind of shame if I waste it. You what? want to kind of grab the, this part mm -hmm. and start. It's a little bit messy at the beginning, especially. Well, you don't have to have to start. Okay. That looks, oh, that looks wonderful. Oh, oh give that to me now. Uh, I don't think you want to eat it now. Huh. I'll eat what? it later. And then I'm just going to kind of use my fingers to okay. seal it as much as I can. This is how you make a pesto bread. I... And then this will help you know that it's pesto bread. <laughs> no ways. Pesto bread goes like that at our house. Oh yeah. yeah, that's every time we have bread, three loaf pesto bread per time. Gone. Yeah. That evening. Gone, gone. We need like no like, corn. Like every day when we need some. Other things I do that same idea with is I will do butter and cinnamon and sugar. I'll do cheese. I'll do you could do like pizza sauce and pepperoni and cheese. Um, I recently did what did I do right after the holidays? Oh, I did cream cheese and cranberry like the leftover cranberry sauce. So then those are gonna, at that point, we set a timer for 30 minutes. We let them rise. Then we put preheat on the oven to 350 and they finish rising in that time. If you want the recipe to our bread, we love it. It's super yummy and everybody raves about it. We're definitely gonna give it away as neighbor gifts again and friend gifts. Um, it's on our website, on our wrist. We have a bunch of recipes on our website so you can go check it out. Okay, Andrew, I mean, Daniel finished his bread. Looks really good. 
Gibson. The one loaf is already just left reduced to that. He's actually out with Mike at a doctor's appointment and we're just here doing our thing. Um, Asher's about to put away, I ordered some more flour because we make bread a lot. Ash is going to put it away. He was excited to have that job. Oh my, my shirt. Bag by bag. Like they'll just spray a bunch of them here, also. Oh, that's so satisfying. I want to like play with it in my hand. Oh, I know. <laughs> Did they get all over you, Jim? Uh, we use this to make play dough. I usually use salt to make salt dough. And maybe there's some flour in it. Got our cousins over. So that's it for today. I actually did just start a new exciting project. That's why I have my work clothes on with Esther, but I'm not going to tell you about it today. You'll see you when the video comes out later this week. Andrew, look but the we love you guys. Thanks for tagging along. You've, a lot of you have asked about Elijah. He's doing great. Um, in fact, he I recorded him like a couple weeks ago saying hello to all of you. So I'll put that right here. Hey everybody. Um, so I've been here for five weeks. We've been here for five weeks. I, have no idea. I don't even know. Five or six weeks. Um, I'm getting better at Japanese. Hopefully, I'll be able to talk to people and actually get there in, uh, on December 16th. Um, it's been amazing. I've loved it. Um, yeah, it's it's great here. I love it so much. And so you speak in Japanese most of the time. Oh. Uh oh. You speak in Japanese most of the time that you're there. I just speak in Japanese like. Uh, 40% of the time? Think, more than that. Think more than that? I feel like, um, unless there's like a native speaker in there, we have a chef who's probably like 80%. That's true, that's true. But like the native speaker is hard. Yeah. You got a point. So yeah, I mean, probably a majority of the time. So a lot. Any other interesting stories? Or can you show them? Or where are you sitting right now? Show them around a bit. I'm sitting... Just in the dorm rooms right now because it's P day. Uh, um, what is P day? My roommates over there. P day is just like essentially the day to like do your laundry, relax a little bit. Why is it called um, P day? Okay. Preparation day. Um, just time to get stuff done. Awesome. So mm, yeah. a couple of your roommates are out there. Where's your other? You got you have three roommates, right? Yeah, three roommates. Um, my companion is down the hallway talking to his mom. Um, and they're talking he's talking along he's talking to his family I'll see if he too I believe he's texting his family um, so yeah, that's rolling right now. anything else to tell the North and South friends um, no I just I mean I love it so much like I was worried I would be um, it would be really difficult and I mean it's been difficult but it's so worth it and it's I've been more consistently happy here than I have anywhere else. All right, well, we'll let you stop talking to Norp and South so you can actually, like, talk to siblings and stuff. So say right. goodbye to Norp and South, but not to us. Bye! <laughs> but we're excited for him. He has about a week until he goes to Japan. And that's crazy, and we miss him so much. But we're really happy we video chat with him like once a week, several times on Wednesdays, like throughout the day and message and phone calls. So that's really helpful. But anyways, we love you guys. You can head over to norpitself.com, like I said, to check out recipes like this bread, to learn more about us, where we've been, um, sign up, to sign up for our newsletter or to shop for, on Amazon. If you really want to support the channel, you can either get a shirt or you can shop on Amazon with our link. Anything you buy within 24 hours supports the channel. So that's pretty awesome. So anyways, hope you're having a great day. Happy holidays and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.